So what are the main differences between naive lymphocytes, effector lymphocytes, and memory lymphocytes? Essentially, in terms of functions, you can imagine that naive lymphocytes, they don't have functions. They are still naive. They are inexperienced, right? And what about the effector ones? Well, they were already presented to the antigen or the pathogen. They will enlarge in terms of volume. They will produce a lot of things. They have a high metabolic activity to fight a particular pathogen. And the memory cells. The memory cells, after the infection, they reduce the metabolic rates and, and also in terms of volume, but they remain circulating in, the, in our blood for, for, for years or even months, but, but most of the case for years, right? So in terms of functions and what they, they become, like these are the main differences, but it's very important to understand that there are other differences to consider here. For example, naive lymphocytes. Naive lymphocytes, they don't have a preference to migrate where there is an infection process. They will never go where there is an infection process. No, they understand that they need to go to school first. They can't go to work if they don't learn first. So where they will learn? In the school. Where is the school? The lymphoid organs, okay? So naive lymphocytes, they only have one address in their head. They will infiltrate, they will penetrate lymphoid organs. They have, uh, I would say, a profile of adhesion proteins or adhesion markers that is selective to go to the school, to go to the lymphoid organs, okay? However, after they learn uh, a lot of things in the school, in the lymphoid organs, when they learn the type of pathogen that they, they, they need to fight, they will change the archetype or they will change the structure of these adhesion proteins in the surface to new ones. Now these adhesion proteins that they have don't allow the lymphocytes to go to the lymphoid organs anymore. It will enable the lymphocytes to find where is the infection in the inflamed tissues. There's a lot of markers and receptors saying, hey, hey, we need here lymphocytes that just came from the school so they can fight against this particular pathogen that is infecting the normal tissues here. So what differentiates a naive lymphocyte to an effector lymphocyte is not only what they do, but it's also the receptors and, and adhesion proteins that they express in the surface that they are literally telling where is the address where they need to go and what kind of tissue they will infiltrate, right? Effector cells, they don't need to stay in the lymphoid organs. They need to go where there is an inflammatory process. Naive cells, they don't know what to fight or how to. So they need to go to school. So they have a different phenotype marker. For example, what are their markers of the naive lymphocytes? Usually they have low levels of IL-2 receptor, which is called CD25, but they have high levels of L-selectin or CD62L, which is an address to go to the lymphoid organs, and relatively high levels as well of the IL-7 receptor, which is called CD127. So this, just as an example, there are other molecules here. I don't need to go through in details, but you need to understand why there are, we have these differences. The active or the effector lymphocyte, it has very low levels of this L-selectin, the CD62Ls, and very low levels also of the IL-7 receptor. But they have high levels of CD44 or adhesion molecules, okay? So these are the integrins mostly important to find and infiltrate the infected or inflamed tissues, right? As opposed to the naive cells, they have low levels of CD44, CD44, okay? And the memory cells, because they are circulating to try to find infection again in our body, they don't need to go to school again, so they will also express high levels of these particular adhesion proteins to infiltrate the, the tissues that we have an inflammatory process, right? So they can react even more effectively against uh, the pathogens. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your questions in the comments below so I can come here and read and reply to you. Bye-bye.